Volunteer session, um, which ended at 11:30. I had some spare time, but I had to do a few errands, and I had to go to the eastern suburbs where I grew up to actually do them. So uh, here I am in one of the um, smaller shopping malls in the eastern suburbs at Bondi Junction, and I go to um, Eastgate where I am now. And I find that the down escalator is out of order, but the up escalator is actually working. What is it with escalators everywhere? Why is it always a one-way escalator? And then a sign saying, escalator out of order, use the lift. Well, um, I think I know where the lift is here. It's on the side, so I'm going to walk that way. Um, since I grew up in East I was just to give a bit of an overview of this smaller shopping centre. There are actually two shopping centres in the Eastern Suburbs and one is Big Westfield down the road and Eastgate which is this one where I'm standing here. Eastgate's a very small shopping centre. It's not actually considered, I don't consider it a mall. And this is one of the newer stores. Now, uh, this used to be where I think a homewares, kitchenware store used to be and now it's an Asian grocery store. Um, on the other end is my favourite shop which is the reject shop. Well, it's a kind of bargain basement, um, $2 sort of store, but it's not $2 obviously anymore due to inflation. But um, I love that store because if you're very selective in your purchases you can actually find really good bargains. Um, there's everything you really need in this shopping centre almost. Um, I mean, you've got the Coles supermarket, you've got an Audi upstairs, um, you've got uh, boutique shops, you've got bread store, you've got a delicatessen, a pharmacy. There's even now a dental service up here, which wasn't there before, and there's spec savers, which wasn't here before. There's a bookshop, Dimmix, which is a chain store, bookstore, there are cafes, a nail place. There's ATMs, although they're third party now, they used to be um, just the major bank ones, but they've taken out all the major bank ATMs in most of the malls and replaced them with third party. Third party ATMs, you have to pay a fee to use them, so that's why I avoid them. Um, there's a post office. So basically there's everything you probably need in this shopping mall. It's a um, pretty cute shopping mall. I don't, I don't think it's an ugly shopping mall. It's got character. It's been here for a very long time. That if you really want to go to a large shopping mall, then go to the Westfields across the road, uh, where they have all the major um, chain stores. I'm actually going to hop into. Oh, there's even a new massage place in the tiny corner there. Um, I'm going to actually go into this Asian grocery store and see what they have. I don't expect to see any um, shuso leaves or any. Is that how you pronounce it? And perilla leaves, which I really like. But um, let's go in and see what I can find.
special at six ninety nine. Um, not the cheapest. If you go to Woolworths, they've got a special at the moment, and they're actually four dollars ninety or so for the same five pack or whatever it is. Um, usually, she noodles, which are my favourite, as everyone knows, uh, and the only instant noodle I eat is around ten up to ten dollars a packet, eight to ten dollars uh, for a pack of five. So yeah, if you can find it for like four ninety five dollars, then you're getting a bargain. of noodles, instant noodle brands, probably the most I've seen anywhere so far since getting back. I probably haven't been to a lot of places for a while, so I don't know. But this place looks like it's got a whole aisle dedicated to instant noodle and other dried noodle products and a lot of brands I haven't even seen before. We all know the Indonesia machine um, there's other brands that I used to eat and that was like the Nissan brand I don't know if they have them here and there's a lot of usually in the Asian grocery stores there's a lot of um, refrigerated stuff that's imported and some of it's local so you get bean curds, bean soy drink. The soy milk Chinese style is actually different to normal soy milk. It's actually a lot sweeter and it has a quite a different taste. Um, I don't like it. I prefer to have the um, plain soy milk if I had to drink soy milk. Uh, in general, I don't like soy milk because of the floweriness of it. But um, if you find um, an un unsugared, non-sugared, sorry, um, one, then go for it and try it. Um, but definitely I won't be going back to the Chinese style. I grew up with drinking it. Um, it's something I just don't like. Asians are really into their drinks, sweet drinks sweetened drinks which I don't really like either like their iced tea flavored iced teas um, and all sorts of things like you put style but mixed with other things um, they are really really sweet and I just can't have them they're just too sweet being close to um, Moon in the Year there's probably a lot of Moon in the Year um, like edibles sort of I don't know chocolate coin, gold chocolate coins, which is only a, a recent thing, it has, it's not a traditional thing, um, and things like red envelopes, you'll probably find decorations, um, seaweed here is very popular, I love seaweed, and there's no particular brand that I choose to eat, I just like any seaweed and as long as it's in the is the Korean or Japanese seaweed and not the Chinese seaweed I'm happy with eating it I actually don't like eating a lot of Chinese made or um, made in China products because I don't know what's in them there we go there's some more noodles wow we sure have a lot of noodles here Lots and lots and lots. So that's the second lot of uh, shelves with full of instant noodles and more up here as well. Wow! Holy moly! And there's a lot of seaweed. It looks too. It looks like too as well. More noodles. Wow! condiments I would be surprised if you didn't find uh, something you needed here that's Asian because it's just chocobot Asian stuff here it's a lot of snacks as well cakes, biscuits 
I, I don't usually eat a lot of them. Um, I've never really eaten a lot of Asian snacks. But I do like mochis. Um, but I'm very particular about my mochis and what flavour and what type and where they're from because a lot of the mochis have a lot of uh, sugar in them and a lot of additives which I'm not sure if they are harmful or not long term. Um, so I try to avoid them. Look at that, isn't that cute little hedgehog buns? Peas. This is very typical of Asian buns, how they make them into cute little animals. But it's not what's on the outside, it's what's in the inside that counts for me. And a lot of these don't taste nice because they're all full of beans. And I'm not talking about normal beans, I'm talking about non beans or um, soybeans or some kind of bean. If it's taro or if it's uh, custard filled um, or something like that, that's fine. But if it's uh, like that red bean stuff, I won't eat it. Because I grew up with that and I really hate that as well. I wonder if they do have perilla leaves or shoo shoo. Yeah, sorry, I can't even pronounce it. Shishu shoo leaves. <laughs> oh gosh, sorry about that. Um, let's have a look. It should be in the fresh section or in the free fridge refrigerator. Tongue tied, sorry. Refrigerated section. I don't think they do. Might have to go back to Hornsby next time, Mummy Hornsby, to do my digital mentoring uh, volunteer session. I'll have to drop off at that Korean store and see if I can get some more of those perilla leaves. They don't have shishu leaves, they only have the perilla leaves. But they're very... Then Some people say they're similar, but a lot of people say they're completely different because one has a stronger taste. The perilla is actually stronger, a lot stronger. More noodles here. Wow, more drinks, more noodles, more candy, more snacks. Uh, these are like rice crispies, and there is a Chinese version of it, um, but it's more. The, not as um, oh, it's hard to describe uh, they're not more rice crispy they're, they're more like um, puffed shapes or like uh, tubes something all wrapped around together and held together with some I think sugar syrup or something but I grew up with those and I'm not a fan of those and that's why I don't like rice krispies either so yeah <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to continue to look around, but basically this is the store and yeah, it looks like it's, it's a good variety, well stocked. So thank you for watching this video.